everybody. I thought it would be fun to get on here and do a live stream unboxing instead of a YouTube unboxing. This package is very, very special, so thought it could be cool. I haven't done a live in quite a while. Um, I really haven't been working in the studio all that much. It's been a little bit busy as of lately. So any guesses as to what could be in this box it is pretty exciting. It comes with a pretty cool story too. So, oh my goodness, this is the most people I've had on a live stream ever, I think. So I'm gonna try and not show my address. Love unboxings. I think, I don't know why that's a thing. Like why is that a thing that people enjoy watching? I guess because it feels like you're almost opening the package yourself. Let's try and not cut myself. This is not a good positioning. Packing peanuts! Green packing peanuts. Actually, that's the most exciting thing for me. I actually like individually pick these out because they're my studio colors. So I want them for like special packages. <laughs> so I love getting green ones. What could it possibly be? It's long. <laughs> Does that give any hints? Oh my god. Now they're all over my house. Awesome. <laughs> and all over my lap. What could it possibly be? Long, long boy. That's like what everybody calls their long models anymore. I'll slowly unwrap it and see if you can guess what it is. Very exciting. It's a very exciting thing to have. Can you see what it is? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He smells funny. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Ah, it's juggernaut. It's definitely a juggernaut. It's a traditional scale resin juggernaut. So it's the original one. Um, he is like perfect though. This cast is way cleaner than the other cast I had. I did one commission juggernaut way back when um, and I painted him to a buckskin blanket Appaloosa um, and that resin took a long time to prep because he was really rough but this one actually looks quite perfect. I'm actually really excited. I could seriously prep him in no time and have him painted right away. So the story goes with this that I actually traded my Willow um, to a fellow Instagrammer here. Willow is one of the uh, the Roxy custom I did in Dapple Bay and she traded me a blank copy um, of this guy and I felt like that was a fair trade based on the value of the model versus the value of what these guys are going for now. The problem was that hers was having issues, the like juggernaut issues with the resin casting. Um, and she wasn't able to prime it properly, so she had actually sent it back to Jolt Studios, which is Jen, is her name. Um, and they had it, it, or they had the Juggernaut there, and they were trying to figure out what the problem was, and she was saying that like it was gonna be fine, she was stripping it, she was making sure that it was all good for paint. Um, but then at a point she was like, you know what, I'm just gonna scrap it and we're gonna just cast you a brand new one and send you a brand new one. So huge shout out to Jolt Studios because that is an incredible thing for them to do um, considering this was like a whole trade deal. I sort of know Jen from live showing so it was kind of more of a personal thing I think as well. Um, but I think the fact that he's like a brand new cast, I don't know, he's super smooth. Like there's hardly any prep happening here. So that is really exciting. So now my question to you guys on this live stream right now is what color should I paint him? Because I have no clue. I have like no ideas. I don't have anything that's speaking to me. And I want him to be cool. I'll probably hold on to him for a little bit to show him because he'll be, he's like my first traditional size resin. Um, but, I really don't know what color. I'm really conflicted. <laughs> um, and if I do paint him, I may actually end up selling him. So it's gotta be something fun. So we have Grula, Rome Pinto, and I've seen those colors. I wanna do something that nobody's done on this guy so far, or something that like hasn't happened much. So I've seen lots of Grulas and lots of Rones already. Kinda thinking like 
appy of some kind, a uh, gray Appaloosa like I do, like the classic ones, but I'm also kind of thinking like solid of some kind, like maybe just that rich bay that like was the same color as Willow. This is the base it came with, it has a little bit of primer. Let's see if he fits. Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, we've got a bunch of requests here. Gorilla Pinto. I'm not doing Gorilla because I've seen that too many times. Appaloosa is a potential. It actually would be really cool to do a leopard, like a black and white leopard like I do. That would be kind of sweet. Silver Bay. Not a fan of Silver Bay. Bay paint. That could work. Like a tricolor. I've seen red done. Really dark Palomino would be nice, actually. Like a really nice dappled Palomino. That would be fun. Chestnut Appaloosa. Dapple Gray has been done too many times. Carmelo, I will not paint. <laughs> super Fiery Chestnut. I was kind of thinking like Chestnut would be kind of cool. Just like super basic. But I don't know how much the resell is for that kind of a color. Like the one you did on Nakota. Yes, that kind of Leopard Appaloosa would be kind of cool, I think. Silver Roan, Chocolate Palomino. It's a lot of the same colors. I'm not sure. Maybe he should just be like solid black. <laughs> That'd be cool. Seal Bay would be really nice. Um, my mom suggested black and white Pinto, which could be really cool. Like maybe an Overo, like black Overo. That'd be cool. <laughs> Peacock Appy. I don't think I'm going to go fantasy for this guy. He's worth too much money. <laughs> Palomino, champagne. So one of the things that I think everybody should know about me is that I do not paint dilutes. I, hate is a strong word, but I really dislike Cromelos, Perlinos, champagne. Like I don't like anything with the pink skin and the blue eyes, so I just refuse to paint that because I don't find it as an attractive horse color at all. I've seen horses with blue eyes in real life and I do not like them. I like dark, rich colors, but even like, light grays are fine as long as they have a dark face and they have gray skin that's just like a personal pet peeve of mine and there's lots of artists that do a great job of it like mariah vogue does um amazing carmelos and dilutes but i is not my cup of tea <laughs> a young gray mostly black that would be cool like yeah super dark dapple gray um, I did the little micro actually into a dapple gray and a bay blanket Appaloosa, and I have one more. I was going to do him to a chestnut overo. Chestnut overo would look really cool on him. But I think I've seen that. Like, everybody's painted everything already. I'm too late to the game. Flea bitten gray, bronze and buckskin. See, buckskin was the other color that I'm thinking, like my dapply, sooty, really dark buckskin color, because that's a really fun color to paint for me. But this is very exciting, because this is my first resin that is actually mine, and I don't have to sell it if I um, like it enough. So I think that that's a really exciting thing. All right, well, um that was fun thank you so much everybody for joining i super appreciate all of you um that grammar was terrible <laughs> and i hope everybody's having a wonderful sunday so bye